Welcome to another Advantage Moment. My name is Catherine, and I'm a person in long-term recovery. What that means to me is it's been eight years since I was self-medicating almost daily. Now I'm clean and sober. It took years for me to get to the point where I became willing to do some things differently, and one of those things was asking for help to stop the cycle of active addiction. I speak out about my recovery today because I'm passionate about my life again. Recovery has given me back everything that active addiction was taking away. Today I'm a pretty good mom, a loyal friend, a caring daughter, and a dedicated employee. In fact, today I work for Advantage because of recovery. So if you can't stop drinking or using drugs and you want to, or if you know someone else who is struggling with addiction, the information in this video may help you find a solution. He was also known for his honesty about the struggles he faced away from the public eye. And New York police say they are looking at the possibility of an overdose in connection with Heath Ledger's death. Monteith had always been open about his lifelong battle with substance abuse, which he said started with drugs at the age of 13. First, what exactly is addiction? Not all drugs are bad. In fact, some individuals may have medical or mental health needs that require medications like hypertension or depression. But for this video, when I say drugs, I'm referring to substances that are often misused. Alcohol, such as beer, wine, and liquor. You know, I've been an alcoholic living in sobriety, and that means that I've made the decision uh, to get alcohol out of my life. Prescription drugs like pain pills. How do you start that? I just took pills from the medicine cabinet. Street drugs like heroin or cocaine. It almost seems like it's become kind of normal to use heroin around here. Normal, yeah. Very normal. Yeah, I, you almost don't feel like you're doing anything wrong. You don't. Performance enhancing drugs like steroids. So in some sports, strength is more important. In other sports, like let's say biking, endurance is also important. So athletes in different sports will take drugs that they think are tailor-made for what they need. In order to understand how a person in active addiction can say they want to stop but seem to be unable to, let's take a look at the definition of addiction. So addiction is a recurring brain disorder that is chronic and compulsive, even when the individual wants to stop. Drugs by their very nature change and interact with the structure of the brain and the chemical makeup. Simply put, the brain quits working the way it used to. If you are struggling with addiction, can you identify with it being a challenge to stop using and stay sober? And if you are a family member or a friend of someone in active addiction, can you identify with the frustration of having someone you care about continue to use? When you do drugs, you don't do any fun stuff like you used to. See, there are many factors that drive addiction, and it's usually not as simple as just stopping the use. That is the first step. But the next step is to build the skills to maintain recovery. So you may be wondering, where is the hope if addiction is a relapsing brain disease? Is it really possible for someone to stop using for good? Speaking from personal experience, the answer is yes, and the hope is in recovery. Both women say they find strength being around other women in recovery. To him, I would recommend to anybody that has an issue with drinking that you seek help, that you seek counseling, that you talk to other people that have been through it, other people with the same types of problems. Did you know that there are approximately 46 million people in this country with diagnosable substance use disorders? And over half of those are living in recovery. People who not only got clean and sober, but who are maintaining sobriety and claiming a new life. It's been scientifically documented that the brain, if given enough time without drugs and alcohol, can actually begin to restore its functioning. The factors that go into creating a new sober life vary differently from one person to the next because there are many pathways to recovery. They may include a healthy diet, peer-to-peer -peer support, developing a spiritual program, Counseling, participation in sober, social, recreational activities. Your life may not get better all at once, but it can stop getting worse today. 
I can stay in the moment. I don't have to control everything in the future. If unhealthy choices and behaviors that include substance abuse have reached a tipping point in your life or in the life of someone you care about, let us help. Recovery works. Recovery is real. Advantage Behavioral Health Systems promotes a recovery-oriented system of care, and we lead recovery from the ground up and out into our community. Advantage provides person-centered, community-based services and treatment to individuals and families with mental health disorders, developmental disabilities, and addictions. So remember, no matter who you are or what happened, you have the right to recover. For information on our services, please call 706-389-6789 or visit our website at www.advantagebhs.org. Again, my name is Catherine, and this has been another Advantage Moment.